We are the Hebrew Israelites. We come in week in, week out, prophesy the downfall of this wicked kingdom called America. You know, but first off, we want to start off by giving all praise to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rakapa Dash, the one to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who teach and rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the whole people left. You know, it's your brother Lakama. And the brother Gadal. And uh, we're going to come to you with another quick lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. We got this this lesson entitled, uh, Suffer, Suffer Patiently. Uh, and uh, because, you know, we're getting ready to go through a lot of great tribulations. We're going to get ready to come upon the earth, you know. Uh, mainly, uh, Jacob's trouble, you know, the mark of the beast, which is the microchip. You know, don't get it twisted. You know, a lot of brothers don't like to teach on that, but... You know, it is what it is, man. That microchip is the mark of the beast, no doubt. You know, they're going to insert it in your hand right here or in your forehead, man. Whichever part of your head it may be. That's that neural link, man. And uh, ultimately, man, the nuclear missiles. So, you know, we're going to start off in the book of uh, Baruch, chapter 4, verse 21. Okay, we're going to get, sir, first we're going to get the definition. Of uh, patiently, patient. Patient. This um, uh, the online etymology, the online dictionary say the the capacity to accept to accept or t tolerate delay, trouble, or suffer. Come. Uh, or suffer without getting angry or upset. You know? Come. Come. Kind of, that's what we got to do, man. You know, even when we take correction, correction, man. Uh -huh. You know, from an elder brother or whatever, man. We got to, we got to suffer that patiently. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, iron sharpeneth iron, man. You know, and, and the scriptures also say, man, a fool hate to be corrected. So if you don't like to be corrected, man, obviously you're a fool. You know. Uh -huh. So that's basically the point on that definition of our uh, patient. So now we're gonna start off in the book of uh, Baruch. We're going to start off uh, in 4 and 21 through 29. This Baruch chapter 4, start at 21. Mm -hmm. In verse 21, Be of good cheer, O my children. Cry unto Yahweh, and he shall deliver you from the power of in the hand of the enemies. Come. So we got to be a good chill, man. Plus, we got to cry unto the most high, man. You know, we men, man. Us as being men, we can't make it, you know, to be ashamed to cry unto the Heavenly Father, man. You know, I shed tears all the time, man. Being in this captivity, man. You know, being in these chains of, chains of darkness. This wicked body, man. You know, what we tend to go off sometimes. We get slothful. You know, all kinds of demons. You know, they try to tempt us. You know, that's why we, that's why, you know, when we long for Hamashiach, Yahweh Shah to come back, man, because, you know, Lord willing, if we endure until that time, our bodies are going to be changed, man, you know, with the blinking of an eye. So, you can read that again, bro. Start back at 21. Yeah, read. Be of good cheer, O my children, cry unto Yahweh, and he shall deliver you from the power in the hands of the enemies. Come, and that's what we need to be, man. We need to be delivered from the power in the hand of our enemies, man. That's what it means to be saved, man. You know, ain't nobody saved yet, man. These Christians like to say, I'm saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Ghost, man. No, no, you're not, man. You're not saved yet, man, because you're still in the hand of your enemy, those that oppress us, you know, with systematically, you know, redlining, keeping us in the ghettos, and, you know, the barrios and stuff like that, man. We need to be saved from the hands of our enemies, man, and all that hate us. That's what it means to be saved. You go on to the next one. For my hope is in the in the in the everlasting, that he will save you. And joy is come unto me for the Holy One because of mercy which shall soon come unto you for from the everlasting I save I, I save you. Come, like. come. And that's what we hope for, man. That's why we say, Lord willing, we are the hope for elect, man. Because that's basically the only hope that's on the earth, man, today, man. Ain't no more hope for America, man. The 
the only hope is the hopefully elect hoping to be saved out of this place before it get utterly destroyed, man. You know, that's the hope. The hope of the elect, man, because you know, you two thirds, man, you, you around here, man, you ain't hoping that the Lord save you out of this place, man. You know, you two thirds y'all like being in y'all captivity, man. You Negroes, Latinos, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, man, so called. Y'all like y'all love y'all captivity, man. You wanna live your best lives in captivity, not knowing that our big brother, Yahweh Shai, is about to come back, man, and destroy all the heathens, including two-thirds of his own people, man, that don't want to come back to him, man. Because ain't nothing better than a big brother shed his blood for you, man. You know, we bought with a price, man. Yahweh Shai shed his blood for us, you know, for us to have faith in him and know that he walked this earth as a man. And he's coming back to save us out of this hell hole that he put us in, man. You know, ultimately... All right. For I sent you out with mourning and weeping, but Yahweh have given you to me again with joy and gladness forever. Huh, see? See what the scripture just said? He sent us out weeping, man. But the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, is going to return us back unto the Mashiach, man, Yahweh Shah. Because Yahweh given us to Yahweh Shah, man. You know, that's why he sent Yahweh Shah to the cross, man. To shed his blood for us, man. Like I say, like the scriptures say, man, we bought with a price, man. Hold up. Um, verse 24. Like as now. Like as now, the, the neighbors of, of Zion have been your cap your captivity. So shall they see shortly our salvation. From our power, come on, which, come on, come which, which shall come upon you in great glory and brightness of the everlasting. Come on, and they like like the scriptures say, man. These heathens, they gonna see our salvation, man. They gonna be amazed with the strangeness of our salvation, man. Because Yahweh Shah, he's coming back, standing on top of that chariot, man. In which you you people call UFOs, man. You know, you red Hebrew Edomites, y'all demonize the chariots, man. Just to try to make people believe that it's going to be aliens jumping off those chariots with laser guns and big heads and black eyes. That's not the case, man. The angels are so-called black men, man. It's angels flying those things, man. Those are celestial beings flying those chariots, man. Okay. My, verse 25, my children suffer patiently. The wrath that has come upon you from, Ye from Yahweh, for thine enemy have per persecuted thee. But shortly thou shalt see his destruction and shalt tread upon his neck. Come, we're going to see the destruction of our enemies, man. And you know that that's ultimately what we waiting on, man. That's what we have having patience for. That's why we are suffering patiently, man, to see the destruction of our enemies, man, and to, and to put our foot upon his neck, man. Keep going, I'll wait for you, man. Mm -hmm. I'm going to grab this piece so you this oh I got a piece of this um Cyrac Ecclesiastes chapter twenty five and verse seven. There be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy, and the tenth I will utter with my tongue. A man that have joy of his children, and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. And that's what we patiently waiting for, to see the fall of our enemy, man. Come on. You know, that, that's, that's, that's what we hope in. That's, that's, that's what our um, hope is, you know. Come on, come on. Uh, so like if I can add, you know, you know, like, like the brother said, that's what we patiently waiting on, man. Because our enemies have oppressed us, man, for, for 500 plus years, man. You know, and still counting, man, until our Heavenly Father sent our big brother back, man, and to subdue you nations, man. That's what we waiting on, man. What you got it up? Um, back in Baruch chapter 4, on verse 26, my delicate ones have gone rough ways and are taken away as a flock caught of the enemy. Come on, come on. Who are the delicate ones, man? Us Israelites, man, so-called Negroes, Hispanics, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. We are the delicate ones, man. But within that, within the delicate ones, man, you have an elect, man. That's the 144,000 that's coming back to the spirit and power of Yahweh, 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 Yahweh
going out on the highways and byways trying to teach our people who they are, man. Because these wicked pastors, they're not doing it, man. And then you got the you got the rest of the one third, the innumerable multitude, man, of the men, women, and children of the believers, man, that's gonna come back to the spirit and power y'all by sharing y'all shot. Yeah. Be of good comfort, O oh my children, and cry unto Yahweh, for ye shall be remembered of him that brought these things upon you. For as it was for as for as it was your your mind to go astray from from your howl, so being returned, seek him ten times more. Come, come. See that was, it was it was our choice, man, to go astray, man. So therefore your howl your howl, you know, by Shem Yahweh Shah worked up something in the spirit, man, to put a to put a spiritual ass whooping on us, man, for going off, man. Come. You know? And by us, you know, knowing that we went off, man, knowing what the Heavenly Father is capable of, man, that's why we should seek him ten times more, man, because he he's able to do it again, all over again, man, but we don't want him to do it again, man. We want out of this place, man. We we see what we went off, so now we're trying to seek him more, man, so that we won't go off again, man, get the same thing done to us. Verse 29, for he have brought these plagues upon you, shall have brought these plagues upon you shall bring you everlasting joy again with your salvation. Come, come, come. He brought it upon us, you know, and he gonna take the curses off of us, man. You know, that's what we patiently waiting for, man. That's what we're suffering patiently waiting on, man. The Heavenly Father, because we went off, he put us in the ca in captivity. We know who we are now. We know where we went off. And now we coming back to our Heavenly Father, man. Ultimately through Yahweh Shah, man, because no man can get to the Father but through but through Yahweh Shah. So that's what we patiently waiting on, man. Grab that precept. Ecclesiasticus chapter two and verse four. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a lower state. You know, and that's what happened to us. We were chained into a lower state. You know, we were put at the bottom. And our enemies became the head. You know, they rule this world that we living in. We we, we have no armies. We have no 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 means of um of of um fighting our enemies. Uh, we no we can't come, we can't win, you know. Okay. So we need salvation. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. and so like if I can add, you know, we we are the Israelites are the ultimate military, man. Huh. Why? Because we got Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah behind us, man. You know, we just fell to a lower state, man, for huh. trying to live like the other nations, man. But you people, you know, these heathens, man, they love the movies Avengers and X Men and all that, man. But y'all haven't seen Avengers and X Men yet, man. Huh. You know, wait till Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah give us that spiritual power, man. And you're going to see who the X-Man and the Avengers are, man. Just to keep expounding, man. You know, like I say, man, you people haven't seen the real Avengers yet, man. You people haven't seen the real Brightburn yet, man. If some of you didn't seen the movie uh, Brightburn, you know, that he, the, 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 the guy, the kid, man, he was giving those powers, man. And, you know, he calls, <laughs> he calls pure hell, man. <laughs> you say what is what, man? This is Philippians chapter 1 and verse 29. Mm -hmm. To verse 30. For unto you it is given in the behalf of Hamashiach, not only to believe on him, but also to suffer for his his sakes. Come, come, what is belief, man? Belief is having faith, man. Faith was given to who, man? Us Israelites, man. Only us Israelites possess the faith, man, to 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 accept these scriptures in this one hundred percent purest form, man. Because we have is other Israelites, in which are the two thirds, they don't believe in this one hundred percent doctrine, man. 
They still think Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai is all love, man. That's why they don't possess that healthy fear of him, man. They don't feel the heavenly father for real, man. Right. Verse 30, having the same conflict which ye saw in me, and now here to be in me. Romans chapter 5 and verse 3. And not only so, but we glory in tribulation also, knowing that tribulation work of patience, and patience experience, and experience hope, and hope, and hope make of not ashamed, because the love of Yahweh is shed, is shed abroad, in our hearts by the Holy Spirit, which is given unto us. Come. Man. That's why the scriptures say, you know, we're supposed to, you know, rejoice in our tribulations, man. Because ultimately, no, ultimately, we know that the Heavenly Father is doing this, man. This is a purging process, man, to bring us out pure as gold, man. You know, when your faith is tried, man, you're supposed to count it all joy. You know, when you fall into diverse temptations, man, knowing that the trial of your faith, Trying to your faith work is patience, man. That's what the scripture tells us, man. So we supposed to endure, man, through this chastising, because we we know the scriptures say, you know, that the heavenly Father chastises us, man. And you know, if He don't chastise us, then He don't deal with us like He deal with sons, man. Just roughly paraphrasing. Well, in the preach of this Romans chapter eight. In verse 16, the spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of Yahweh. And if children, then heirs, heirs of Yahweh, and joint heirs with Hamashiach. If so be that we suffer with him, that we may be glorified together. For I reckon that the suffering of this present time are not worthy to compare with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Come, come. So we know that the scripture also say, you know, that what what basically what servant is greater than his master, man. You know, ain't no servant greater than his master. Same things and same affliction as how wish I had to suffer, man. You know, we might have to suffer the same things, man. You know, we we some of us and we know that some of us might have to be martyrs in this truth, man. You know, but if that's our lot, then so be it, man. You know, we also know that Hamashiach, Yahweh Shah said, you know, greater greater work shall we do. Greater works than him shall we do. You know. But ultimately, man, we got to keep it in our mind that we might have to suffer, man. You know, we can't that's why we can't get too prideful in this thing and start boasting, man. Because we might have to suffer more than more than you know than we think we have to. You know? We don't have to suffer. Come, come, come. Because the scriptures say, through much tribulation shall we inherit the kingdom, man. Come. And then, like, this little suffering that we're going through, like, from, from the Jacob trouble to all the things that are coming to pass, and the things we're going through day to day, you know, from work to your woman, your kids, just stress, uh -huh. all this suffering. It ain't gonna compare to what the kingdom gonna bring, man. Uh -huh. You know, it, it, it ain't gonna compare. You uh -huh. know, we gonna. We we gonna look at this like oh that was a bad dream you know <laughs> it it ain't all everything that's gonna happen that's how we gonna look at it in the king mm -hmm. you know right now we don't look at it like that but that's what the script that's what the company telling us mm -hmm. it's 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 just it's just a little it's just a little little uh, tribulation it's nothing uh, uh -huh. but this song chapter. Thirty-four and seventeen, the righteous cry, and and Yahweh hear it, mm -hmm. and deliver them out of their troubles. Come, come. So like I was, like the scripture say, man, we got to cry unto the heavenly Father, man. You know, just because we're men, man. So what, man? You know, the heavenly Father know. You know what we going through. Not only do the heavenly Father know, man. Yahweh shall know, man, because he had to take on a a, a physical body like we're in now, man. You know, he had to go through the same temptations and endure, man. 
That's why the scriptures say we got to be like unto him, man, because he came, he, he endured, and he, he did it faithfully, and he did it perfectly, man, you know, to the best of his ability, man, in which his ability was greater, far greater than our ability, man, you know, because we tend to go off sometimes. Yeah, Howard Shot didn't go off, man. He did it perfectly, man. Then that. And I, uh, man, shed all his blood sacrifice. for us, man. He was the ultimate sacrifice, man. Mm. The ultimate sacrifice. And through his blood, believing in the blood that he shed, it, man, you know, hopefully we'll be saved, man. Mm. Uh, and, and and by him being a uh, sacrifice, that means some of us going to go through the same thing, man. Mm -hmm. You know, some of us going to be put to death for this word, man. You know, and it, it ain't no getting around it. You got to think about it. The Lord did it, so why you can't? You know, why you, what 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 make you so special, you know? We know we all ain't going to get put to death, but, you know, it can happen, you know? That's why we got to be prepared. We got to endure, you know? Uh, uh. And like the scriptures say, you know, I forget where it is, but it's a count the cost, man. You got to know what you're getting yourself into, man, when you step into this thing, man. You know, because, hey, the, the scriptures tell us, Yahweh, I mean, Yahweh is a man of war, man, you know? He 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 like he like righteous judgment, man. You know, and we can be judged righteously every day, every hour, every minute, man. But we got to endure. We got to endure it, man. Like 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 the scriptures say, man. When he tries like that, man, he trying to purge us, man. Trying to purge all that dross off of us, man, and make us pure, man, and worthy, man, of the kingdom. Like I just said, you know, he said the Lord is a man of war, so casualties happen in war. Come on, come on. You know, so come we on. can't stop it. We just got to be those soldiers, you know, come soldiers on. for your house shot, come you on. know. Come on. Um, this verse 18, Psalm chapter 34 and verse 18, Yahweh is, Yahweh is not unto them that are of a broken heart. And save of such as be of a contrite spirit. Many are the many are the afflictions of the righteous, but Yahweh deliver of him out of them all. Come, the righteous go through many afflictions, man. You know, but Yahweh Shai is gonna deliver us out of all of man if we keep that faith, man. And we know that we got to know without a shadow of a doubt in our mind that he came and walked this earth, man. You know, it, it's easy not to believe in that, man, because it happened so long ago, man. But you got to know it in your spirit, man. You know, me and me and I right here, we believe it in our spirit, man. We know it in our spirit that Yahweh shall walk this earth, man, and he put his body for a living sacrifice, man. You know, that's the faith that we have, man. So, Lord willing, through that faith that we have, you know, we will be saved out here too. But, you know, like, like, like if we have to be martyrs, man, then so be it, man. We hopefully... The Lord give us the strength and the power to keep that faith into death, man. Mm -hmm. That's what's pleasing in the sight of the Heavenly Father, man. That we kept the faith, man, through it all. Mm -hmm. This is 2 Peter. This 2 Peter chapter 2 and verse... I mean, 1 Peter, so like it. This 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse 19... For this is the thing worthy, if a man, if a man for conscience toward Yahweh endure of grief, suffering wrongfully, for what glory is it, if when ye be buffeted for your faults, ye shall take it patiently, but if when ye when ye do well and suffer for it, ye ye take it patiently. Come on, see, see what the scriptures are saying, man. They self-explanatory, man. You know, if the righteous suffer, man, suffer patiently, man. You know, you know, take it with cheerfulness, man, because the trying of our faith work is patience, man. And who try our faith, man? Ultimately, Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, man. They try our faith, man. So you got to keep that in the back of your mind that is that it, this is only a test, man. You know, and if we pass that test, you know. We going to come out pure like gold, man. Shining like gold. Like diamonds, man. You know, we're diamonds in the rough right now. But through our faith, 
And you how about some y'all shot, man? We gonna come out purged, man. We gonna come out pure and beautiful, man. Because we are those lively stones. This is this is acceptable with Yahweh, for even here unto where ye called, because Hamashiach also suffered for us, leaving us an example that ye should follow his steps. Come, come, come! Yahweh Shah, he left the example, man, for us to follow, man. Like I said earlier, man, Yahweh Shah, he came in the physical flesh, man. He had to go through the same things we go through now, man. But he, he endured perfectly, man. Let me go to 22. Okay. Who did no sin, neither was God found in his mouth. Come, come, come. Hmm. You want to respond on Oh, yeah. You know, just like I was just saying, he was like, um, he did it perfectly. You know, the Lord came back in the same body as we and he didn't sin. You know, he suffered. You know, he, he, he went through all the temptations we go through. You know, but he did it perfect. Good. You know. Good. He did everything perfect. And he died. He went through the pain and bloodshed for his people. Mm -hmm. You know, being beat and hung up on the cross. You know, and stabbed in the side, uh, humiliated. Uh, you know, for his for his people, uh, ultimately for all of Israel, but mainly for the elite. You know, because uh, uh, two thirds of our people they gotta they gotta die this go round. You know, uh, uh. it's a lack if I can add, man. Rightfully so, man. Cause uh, look at your I man. Look at what your I had to go through, man. For you wicked jakes, man, uh, to be saved, man. Because ultimately, the two-thirds going to get the kingdom too, man. But they're going to have to come back through the loins of the one-third, man. They're going to have to come back in the kingdom as babies, man. And like the brother say, like to say, man, the reset button going to have to be hit on those guys, man. And what's that reset button, man? Ultimately, that fire, man, when they hit fire on that nuclear missile, man. You know? When those nuclear missiles hit this place and clean it up, man. Because the first death was the flood, man. Only eight people lived through the flood. The second death is going to be those with fire, man. Thermonuclear missiles, man. That's the ultimate reset button you two-thirds going to have to get, man. You got to start off. Huh? This um, first Peter chapter... This, verse, this chapter 3 and 14. But if ye... But if ye suffer for righteousness' sake, happy are ye, and be not afraid of their terror, neither be troubled. And I'm going to jump to 17. For it is better if if the will of Yahweh be so, that ye suffer for well-doing than for evil-doing. You know, so if we going to suffer, we'll rather suffer for well-doing and not evil-doing, man. That's right. You know, right. if we have to be put to death on this side for... For serving you, how about showing me how shy we with that, you know? Come. You know, we with that. You know, if we got to watch our family die and all this stuff for righteousness sake, we with it, you know? Come. Come. It, we, it ain't because we in the world, you know, being wicked, being two-thirds. That ain't why it's happening. It's happening because it's just part of our life, you know? Come. Come. Um, so like if I can add, because this come. is your how about showing me how shy movie, man, come. you know? Yahweh, he created this movie, man. You know, we don't have no power over how Yahweh, Yahweh uh, created our ending, man. He created the end from the beginning, man. It's already wrote. It's man. already written, man. He told us now go forth and, and, and play it out, man. Go pr go play your roles out, man. Uh -huh. You know, like uh, the Rock like to say, know your role, Jabroni. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We can't change our life, man. <laughs> know your role, Jabroni. Uh, you know, we got to know our role, man. Even though we, uh, so like we don't know our role, but we just going to have to try to stay in the spirit and power your heart by shot, man. Keep the faith, man. Do it all, man. Lord willing, we are the elect, and that's our role, you know. Come. And, our, and, and us and our family say that is, you know. Come. Come. Yeah, Lord willing, we in know, but it can go either way, you know. We might get put to death and still be saved. We don't know how it's going to play. You know. That's why we say we hope we do uh -huh. We are the hope for you, like, man. Because you know. the Lord can bug us out, you know. Uh, so we like can't it, stop it. So like if I can add, you know, even though we say we hope we are the hope for you, like, you know, we basically, if you die in the faith, man, you're still part of the elect, man. 
Because what the scriptures say, the, the dead in Hamashiach shall be risen first, man. And they're going to come back on the chariots with your Yahweh shot, man, to put you heathens in submission, man. Okay. You know, ultimately. Okay. So whether you have to die in this truth, man, you, you're still I part of the elect, man. Either way it go. Verse, uh, 16. First Peter chapter 3 and verse 18, for Hamashiach also have once suffered once suffered for sins and just for the unjust that he might bring us to your house mm -hmm. being put to death in the flesh but quickened by the spirit mm -hmm. you know and that's and that's what happened we were just talking about this oh. you know the um, lord he died for us man oh. but he was quickened through the spirit and and that by him getting put to death, that brought the spirit upon the disciples, you know. Oh. And that's where we at now, today. The oh. spirit is upon us to keep doing his work. Oh. So, Lord willing, you know, we hope you people were edified through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, man. You know, with that, we're going to say all praise to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, by Shem Rakhabadash. Don't want us to the apostle and the elders, they millstone will teach and do well. Peace, blessings, and takes us to the hope of the elect, man. So, right.